Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Shirtless Gamer here. Um, so, I'm actually going to start creating guides to help everybody get through these, um, all these campaign vehicles, starting from the Stug all the way through to what everybody wants, the, um, the Object 279E. So, without further ado, uh, we're going to start, like I said, from the Stug. So we're gonna go through those missions, and I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break up these videos for every single tank class, because I ran it before, and it would have taken about an hour. And I don't think anybody wants to sit through an hour of um, tips or tricks to get through these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up to, from, uh, like I said, I'm gonna break up all these little uh, sections into subsections. They're all gonna be put into a playlist, so that way you guys can still go and see them all. Uh, I'll, ha I'll try to have them all out as soon as possible. But, uh, so, we're going to be starting with the light tanks here. And I've got a buddy in FaZe, my, one of my clan mates. Uh, his name is Taz, and he helped me out getting the tier requirements for these, because it won't tell me, because I've completed it with honors. So, for the first, for the Stug missions, you can do all these at tier 4. Starting at tier 4 to tier 10, you can do it. So, a lot of these missions, I would recommend doing it as low tier as you can. Just because you'll run into more newer players, it'll give you better, um, you know, better chances at getting like this one top 10 on your team by XP. And this is light tanks, so uh, for me, I would recommend doing the um, probably either the Lux, the Panzer 30 NA, or alternatively the Japanese Kiho for this one. Um, but being on top top 10 players on your team by XP. Um, that's that's not a really hard thing to do. Your hardest part here would probably just be winning the battle. If you win the battle and you have a decent game, you, you'll you'll get this one as well, and then just survive if you want honors. Um, one quick little tip for you guys, though, if you are trying to push through these um, missions as fast as you can, uh, don't don't work don't worry about getting it with honors. Just get the get the primary, and then push on to the next one. And then once you do get all the tanks that you want, then uh, just go back. Play these missions for fun to get them with honors. That's what I would recommend to do. Pushing us over to light tank two to spot two enemy vehicles. Um, you could do this with the Lux as well if you make a quick spot at the beginning, or you could do this alternatively with the AMX ELC. Um, just because if you do get tier five only, tier five is a very clunky tier. Everything's really slow, or the view range isn't all that good. So if you run the ELC AMX, the uh, the tier five Russian or sorry tier five. French light tank, you'll be able to get this one extremely quickly. If you just uh, start the game, rush to a just rush to an aggressive spotting um, position, and if you have binoculars, it'll just boost your thing as much as possible, and then survive for honors. Putting us to number three, light tank three, cause damage two times to enemy vehicles by shooting them. Um, so this one, you would you could do with uh, with the Lux. I, I would do this with the Lux because it has the auto loader on it already so you can literally get this done by shooting one tank and then if you are top tier um, honors is destroying enemy vehicles so you'll be able to get that quickly too just with just by playing a game um, that'll put you to light tank four destroy the track of an enemy vehicle you can do this with the Lux but I would recommend doing this with either the Panzer 38 NA which is also a German light tank or do it with the Japanese Kiho because the caliber of those guns are just high enough to track, and if you don't track them with the first one, the rate of fire is amazing, so you'll be able to get that second round in before most players can even react at that tier. Um, so that'll get that one done. If you want it with honors, you have to track them, and your teammates have to kill them. Um, so just run with a pack for that, and uh, that'll put you onto light tank 5. So light tank 5, you have to enable your allies, destroy one enemy vehicle spotted by you. Um, so you want something... You want something with good uh, good view range. So, once again, I would probably run the AMX ELC. Um, just because, like I said, you'll be playing with a lot more newer players than you will if you run higher tiers. So you'll be able to get that one spot real quick. Your allies have to damage spotted vehicles twice. Um, and that's not that hard. If you take an aggressive spotting position, you just passive there, you'll, you'll get this mission done. Putting us to light tank 6. Alright, now... 
This one, you need to enable your allies to cause damage to two enemy vehicles by spotting them or destroying their tracks. Um, so, for this one, lower tiers it's a lot easier to get spotting damage. Um, if you do want to do it with higher tiers, I just say go destroy tracks because, you know, that's not hard to do. Um, but for lower tiers, like I said, this one, something with a good view range again. Um, I'd run the AMX ELC again. Uh, for these ones, I mainly ran the Lux and the ELC. That's what I did to get these missions done. Um, but yeah, just causing two damage by spotting, like that's that's not hard. And then for honors, it's just use coded optics or binoculars. So just running a light tank the way they're supposed to be set up, you, you'll get this with honors three uh, free 35,000 credits, putting you to light tank seven SPG hunter. Cause damage to an enemy SPG, so you don't actually have to kill them. You just have to cause damage. Um, so for this one, what I would, what I actually did was, I went back to the Lux, and what I would do is, you want to play it safe at the start. You want to, you want to kind of play it slow. Wait until there's an opening, and then you want to exploit that opening and just, just rush straight to the arty. Um, now, I say rush straight to the arty, but you don't want to just completely bonsai because, at, at, especially at low tiers, you'll be stuck with uh, finding that there's some TDs that you know they, they don't leave the base or whatnot. So. You have to keep aware of that, but like I said, you don't have you don't actually have to kill the arty. So, with the Lux's auto loader, if you're able to spot them, even if there's a TD in front of you, just let out a burst at that arty. Even if you hit them just one time, the mission's done. Um, then to get it for honors, you just have to survive, and then that'll put you to light tank eight. So this is one that everybody hates, uh, capturing missions, or you can defend. Um, it's a lot easier to defend your cap than capturing that I found because there's a lot of the uh, no cap kill all mentality in this game. Um, but then again, that is more of a higher tier thing. Uh, if you play lower tiers, you have a better chance of capping because you know they're they're just new players. They just want to win. So by actually just capturing the base, you win a lot faster majority of the times. So you might be able to actually get that if you play lower tiers, and then you actually have to win the game to get this mission done. So either make sure your resets are what cause you to win, or alternatively capture the base, which will make you win. And for honors, you just have to destroy an enemy vehicle. Um, typically, you'll have a kill, especially if it comes down to you capturing or defending, you'll, you'll get a kill. Uh, and then, especially if you win the game, you should have a kill. If not, you really want it, just play another game, you'll get that done. Putting us to light tank 9, Hawkeye. Spot an enemy vehicle while remaining unspotted. So this one, once again, the ELC AMX, if you are free to play. Um, yeah, this one you could do easily with that tank. Just throw on camel net with Binox. Just make sure you boost up that view range as much as possible. And your camel rating. And you'll get this done. Um, if you do have the ELC even 90 though, um, it's the tier 8 French premium light tank. That thing already has extremely crazy camo. If you just throw Binox and camo net on that, um, this is guaranteed. You honestly don't even need that. You could probably just YOLO at the start and you'd get this done. Um, then survive the battle and then that'll get you with honors. Pushing you to light tank 10. Be among the top 3 by XP earned. So for this one, I would actually recommend probably the Panzer 38 NA or alternatively the Japanese Tier 4 Kiho, and that is because they are they're they're Tier fours first off. It's easy to get massive damage at Tier four, especially if you are an experienced player. What that'll do is both of those light tanks have extremely punchy guns. You could kill most of your own tiers in about three to four shots, depending. So if you get top tier with either of those vehicles. I think this will be very easy. You just have to remember though, if you are top tier in those tanks, you have to play aggressive. You have to play like a stereotypical heavy tank because once again, you've got very strong guns, you have speed, you can take those positions and you can dish out an amazing amount of damage in a very short amount of time. Um, just make sure you rack up kills for this as well. Um, also by playing front lines, you push out your, uh, your view range, which will give you that spotting assist, all that kind of stuff. Go for tracking if you need, like if you need to, um, and then like I said, just make sure you secure those kills. Uh, kills give a mass amount of XP, especially for light tanks. And if you are bottom tier, uh, you always get that XP bonus by shooting higher tiers above you. So just load a couple gold rounds, save those for those higher tier tanks, and uh, 
after a few games, if you don't get it on your first, you'll you'll get this done. Remember, it's just a grind, and then you push on to uh, light tank 11, fair fight. Cause damage four times on enemy vehicles of the same tier or higher by shooting them. Um, so this one, once again, I would re I would recommend the Panzer 30 NA. You could use the Lux because that's about one clip. Um, you could use the Kiho as well, or what I used for this one was the Batchat 12T because that one already had a four round auto loader. You could literally get this done within the first 30 seconds of the game. Um, then for honors with the bat chat, it's not that hard. Uh, it's it's two two clips. If you pen your shots, two clips, you'll have this whole mission done. Um, that'll put you to light tank 12. Enable your allies to cause 250 HP of damage to enemies by spotting. Um, so you have to get spotting damage, 250 of it, but you have to be unspotted by the time the damage is caused. So once again, I dropped the ELC, the tier 5. I ran camo net with the binoculars. And even right here, as you see, to get it with honors, camouflage net with a camo, or sorry, camouflage net with the camo up top. Um, just throw that basic stuff on your light tank the way it should already be played. You'll get an extra 40k. Um, but yeah, just play that, play passive, you'll get this done. Pushing you to light tank 13. Um, enable your allies to cause 700 HP by spotting, and you have to cause 700 yourself. Um, so for this one, I actually recommend the tier 7 American light tanks, the T-71s, either one. The DA is a little more my favorite because I like the autoloader on that vehicle. Um, but that, the reason behind that is because the tier 7 American light tanks have an extremely high amount of base view range over all of its, uh, you know, tier 7 competition for light tanks. So if you do get top tier with that, um, play aggressive, get to that aggressive scouting position, put up them binox, put up everything you can to bolster your view range. You'll get this 700 here done very easily. And then this 700 damage right here, I'm pretty sure with the T-71DA, you can get that in one clip. So if you just circle around a heavy tank or a tank destroyer, you'll be able to get this done in one clip's worth of time. Um, then win the battle, survive if you want it with honors, that'll put you on to light tank 14. Enable your allies to cause 1000 HP um, by spotting them. This one, once again, I would recommend the tier 7 Americans. That's because of that base view range, since it's so much higher. Um, you can easily boost that up to that 445 mark with uh, just probably even with just coded optics if you have a decent crew. Um, but yeah, with that being said, this one might take you guys a few games. Um, it's not all that hard, but you just have to remember to take those aggressive scouting spots and uh, just try and hold it down. Obviously, if you get spotted, don't stay because you don't want to die uh, if you want to get this with honors. But once you get that done, that'll put you onto light tank 15. These are the ones that everybody hates, along with the capturing ones. Uh, so this one is damage caused, including damage caused with your assistance, so spotting damage, tracking, um, must total 3000 HP. So for this one, I would recommend still the T-71DA, the autoloader one this time, or any autoloaders, even the French ones would work. And the reason behind that is because it's got the good view range, so you can, you can easily rely on getting half of this with just spotting alone. But with the T-71DA, you also have that massive clip potential that you could get. Ev you could even get this with damage if you have a decent game. Like if you have a good game, you can do 3K damage with that vehicle alone. Um, but like I said, in total, that it's not going to be that hard. It might take you guys a couple games to get it, especially if you get maps like Himmelsdorf for just annoying maps that don't really work. Um, best bet for this one though is if you get an open map make sure you play aggressive take that scouting position just hope your teammates know how to snipe uh, if you get the city maps aim for tracks follow the main body shoot for tracks right um, then assistance just allies have to cause damage four times um, that one's all luck at the luck of the draw if your uh, if your team wants to actually help you uh, and then win the battle which hopefully if you're doing this in a light tank you're winning um, but with that being said um, something to keep in mind when you're doing these missions you have to play for missions um, the, just the way a lot of these are set up you'll you'll know this especially when you start getting to the higher ones like the chimera the 2798 you have to play for the missions um, when your teammates are pinging you to go do light tank things and oh you're you're dumb you're not doing this right ignore them 
you're if you're trying if you really want these missions done play for the missions that's what I had to do that's what everybody had to do to get these vehicles play for the missions people are gonna hate you for it but at the end of the day you'll have the tanks that they don't so um, with that being said this will be the end of the very first episode of the grind towards the 279e um, these guides, like I said, I'll be trying to get them out every day so that way you're not waiting if you know, the light, you're know you done with the light tanks, you need the mediums. I'm going to try and get these done as fast as I can for you guys. Um, but with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.